Welcome to the Mesozoic Media Park. The goal for this park is to fill it with as many movie, show, and documentary dinosaurs as I possibly can. This time we will be implementing the awesome movie known as Ice Age 3 Dawn of the Dinosaurs. These creatures will be some amazing additions to the park. Okay, so Ice Age 3 Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Now, what was requested is to do the lava falls in in this uh, in, you know, in in this game, but I don't really know if that's something I'm able to pull off. Like, I don't think I can really choose anything that looks convincing enough to to represent the lava, unfortunately. And I don't use mods mainly because I can't, because I'm a, I'm I'm playing on console right now. Um, so I think we'll have to just create another scene for walking with dinosaurs, or sorry, for uh, <laughs> Ice Age Three. And I'm thinking just the scene where the Mama Rex pushes Rudy off of the giant cliff. I think we can try to make a cliff to the best of our abilities and just kind of represent that whole thing that went on down over there. Sound like fun? I think it sounds like fun. So first is to make the cliff. I've never actually attempted to make something that looks cliff-like, so I don't know how good this is going to look. But we're going we're gonna to give it a shot here. Is that how deep in... Can I like... I can't make it any deeper? <laughs> That's as deep as it goes. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. This is, gonna be, this, is, this might look dumb. I don't know. We'll see. Why am I placing it here? Probably place it a little bit closer. All right. Just pretend that's not there and life will be hunky-dory. All right. Let's see. I'll place it right here. Wait. I should probably figure out more of the layout. Now, Ice Age 3 Dawn of the Dinosaurs. This was a movie that I always loved, especially when I was a child. This was... It was really fun. Uh, I was a huge fan of the Ice Age franchise when I was a kid. And, uh, you know, I, I completely see that they were getting worse as time went on until we got to Continental Drift and then that that straight to Disney Plus one. But man, they were they were they were peak, you know, flip in the first one. Absolutely perfect movie. The most normal one of the bunch. And then you got the second one. Fantastic. You know, it has a lot of very iconic moments like the. Yeah, the, uh, the, the elephant herd, or sorry, the mammoth herd showing up in, in the, you know, at the end, which mammoths are part of the elephant family, so yeah, I wasn't technically wrong. No, that, and then Dawn of the Dinosaurs, like, I mean, come on, I was nine years old when that movie came out. I love dinosaurs. Heck, I still love dinosaurs, if you couldn't tell. That was just, that was perfect. I understand that that's kind of like a jumping the shark type moment because of how, quote unquote, normal the first two were, but... And that one kind of like went off the deep end, essentially. But it's still, it was, I don't know. It was still very cool. Um, I love the dinosaurs in that. Uh, we're going to leave it. It'll be a little Easter egg for those of you who remember. Jeez, how big did I make this thing? Ooh, this is my problem. I start building them way too huge, and then we're going to end up running out of space. And we won't be able to do as many projects as I, as I can. Someone asked what, what's going to happen if I fill up the whole park. And honestly, if there's like enough projects, like after we fill it all up, then I might just make another park simply because I like doing this. And there's just a lot of really cool paleo media that can get represented. You know, we just barely finished up walking with dinosaurs. And simply because I didn't want to just have one enclosure uh, represent all of that, I have all of this, you know. All right, let's try this cliff again like this. Okay. That's, I think that's deeper than what I was doing before. <laughs> uh, not exactly what I want, but it's something. It's something. <laughs> it's certainly something. Um, hmm. Might be as good as I can make it. Oh, I can go deeper. Go just a little bit deeper. That'll have to do. That'll have to be the cliff. Okay, and then with that, I need to place some rock. Make it look very, make it look very cliff-like. And I, I, I can't even mention how cool this scene was. How epic it is to see, like, you know, Rudy's closing in to Sid, and then all of a sudden, boom, on the Rex, in for the rescue. This movie was awesome. I should return to it sometime. I have the goal of reviewing one prehistoric movie a month, and uh, I completely messed it up. I didn't do one for June. I completely forgot. Like I did one for. Uh, Last month, it was King Kong, of course, but I didn't do one for June, and I'm kind of like, I'm kicking myself for it. I'm, I, I'm wanting to do uh, The Good Dinosaur for the next review. Hopefully, I can actually get, to, like, hopefully I remember, you know, and actually can do that. There's some trees going in here. Right. There's, like, trees surrounding it, and then the area that they were in, from what I remember, 
had a lot of dirt. It was just plain dirt. Like, this is where the final confrontation with Buck and Rudy and everyone. It's weird that I'm making a uh, an Ice Age enclosure, you know, with the Ice Age characters. And yet, I can't include any Ice Age characters because they're not in the game. I was really, really hoping that we'd get, like, a Cenozoic pack or something. But that really, that really seems unlikely. If we did, I would definitely include Manny. Assuming they'd do a Mammoth, which I don't know why they wouldn't. I'd include Manny and Sid and... They probably wouldn't include a Megalonyx, which is what Sid is. I don't know. Get some more rocks around here. Let's make this look cliffy. I placed that invisible fence right there because I don't really want... Uh, I don't want them to actually like be down here. Oh, that is not as deep as I thought. Ain't that deep, bro. <laughs> that has to be the ugliest cliff I've ever seen. Okay, and my whole idea is that this is the area where Mama Rex pushed off Rudy. You know, where there's no... uh. Of course, there was a tree that she knocked him into. Hmm. Let's include a tree. What kind of tree was it? Okay, it looks like I'm wrong. She pushed him into like a huge rock formation. Doesn't really look like I have any rocks that are big enough to represent that, unfortunately. So I think we're gonna have to omit that. Un you know, shoot. Maybe I could just place a tree and just say that represents the rock. Yeah, let's place. I don't know. Just place. That right there. Say that represents the very big rock that he was shoved into. Alright. And I think that looks just about good for what I'm wanting to go for. So, on that note, let's let's get them here. Let's do the very long and agonizing process of getting them transported over. So, Rudy is of course a Baryonyx. I know, quite surprising. He's absolutely massive. Like, huge. Like, just incredibly big. And yet... He is a Baryonyx. Of course, when I was a child, I thought, and I saw the trailers for the for the movie, I assumed he was a Spinosaurus, but that is not the case. He is a Baryonyx. So this is going to be very, very funny, because, uh, of course, in the movie, Rudy is portrayed as being significantly larger than Mama Rex, which definitely wasn't true in terms of, uh, you know, T-Rex and Baryonyx. So this is gonna be this is gonna be kind of comical because it's gonna be the exact opposite. On top of that, there are of course the three babies that we have. Sid's, uh, you know, he was the adopted child or parent for them for a little bit. Where, where are they? And I, you know, the request was for either Chanchosaurus or for the uh, Morris Intrepidus. I'm thinking I want to do Morris Intrepidus because I just want them to be extremely tiny, even though Morris is really tiny like a lot tinier than they were than the baby rexes were in the movie regardless there are some colors that match up to the mama rex pretty good so i'm just gonna do morris i think morris is a it's a pretty fun bet so let's get them over and here they are we have our very awesome looking mama rex i was so so happy with the colors i think that these look really good i think they look just like at the very least very similar to the colors that she has in the movie I was very happy that this was an option. Like, I think it looks so good. Um, so we have Mama Rex here, as well as her babies. <laughs> All the way down here. Uh, the little Morris Intrepidus babies. Um, their colors are... I got them as close as I could to the T-Rex colors. You'll notice they're a little bit more orange. Uh, and I think that they look pretty decent, too. You know, they're they're very small, but I, I really wanted... I, I just wanted Morris. I don't know. I just... I think it looks cool. Um, along with them is the antagonist of the film, Rudy, who I have not named yet, but rest assured I will. And, you know, I tried to give it as wide of coloration as I could with a little bit of gray because there is a little bit of like textured gray in Rudy's design. And I think it looks pretty good, but you see what I mean? You see how much smaller he is compared to Mama Rex? It's like, really? Really, Mama Rex? You were letting that guy back there bully you? him really all right uh but yeah that is the ice age 3 dawn of the dinosaurs enclosure you know i i, I did it to the best of my abilities i don't know it's not very cliff like and it looks like rudy would be okay if he was pushed over but if you look at it like this you're like oh yeah it's a cliff you know like let's see that's definitely a that's definitely a cliff over there that is definitely a cliff uh, but yeah, that 
is this episode. While this is being uploaded, I am currently out of town and without service, so I won't be able to respond to comments or anything like that. But rest assured, I will get to them eventually. Um, I had to record all this stuff like uh, the week before and get them scheduled for when I was I would be gone because I definitely don't want to miss any uploads. Uh, but yeah, this this was really fun. Uh, now that we're finally past walking with dinosaurs, we can we can look ahead and do a lot more dinosaur projects. There's been a lot of awesome requests, and I hope to get to all of them uh, because we still do have a decent amount of space. Yeah, we we still have some space. We got space. We we'll be all right. <laughs> we could probably fit as many. We could fit. We could fit. We could fit them. We'll get them. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please consider liking and commenting and subscribing. Stuff like that really does help out the channel a lot. And uh, have an awesome day.